Nada kisses. Ryu. Nada kisses. Nada kai. Across the hall, facing the nurse's station, was a lounge-like place. Left in that unpopulated place was a number of sofas, folding chairs, and a large television. On top- on that 28-inch CT- oh my god. On that 28-inch CRT, a meaningless New Year's program was running. Watching that boring television, with an equally bored expression, was some girl. <laughs> okay, I know you didn't say it that way, but there's a part of me that thinks like, Oh my god, this girl's literally in the middle of my television. I need to get out. She had a small build and wore pink pajamas. Her wrist had, just like I did, a white bracelet. Oh man, we're matching. Hair that went to her hips left an impression. Hey, you! Is that interesting? There wasn't any particular deep meaning to it, since there was no one around. I tried speaking to her pro profile. Oh, alright, okay. <laughs> that was all she replied with. She even turned towards me, even though I had spoken toward her. Okay. Perhaps she had absolutely no interest in me. She continued to gaze at the television with a bored look. Maybe she's just more interested in the television, bro. Like, if it's boring, you don't have to watch it. As I thought that, I also sat down in a folding chair. And, sitting next to her, I gazed at the television. There was nothing else to do. Nothing else I could do. Why would you just- <laughs> Why not just go stand in front of her television and be like, Yo, talk to me. <laughs> in silence, we continued the gaze at the television. On the screen were the usual New Year's programs, pathetic impersonations and parlor tricks. Occasionally bringing out the host's stupidity high-pitched laugh in the pure white sunlit room, it dryly reverberated. <laughs> Yes. Suddenly, the girl spoke to me while, stay, uh, while still gazing at the television. I'm on eye time. Which, which time? What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand the meaning of, this, of the question. It seemed that at my inability to understand what she was saying, she had unilaterally un came to that conclusion. Alright. Uh huh. Duty. <laughs> duty rhymes with booty. Okay, that's immature. Okay. <laughs> what? While nodding, she added that there is a rule for someone to teach people who first come to the seventh floor. Right now, I knew nothing about what any of this was. And as if ignoring me, the girl slowly began speaking. Alright, I'm getting close to the mic right now. What you gotta tell me? They were slightly different compared to the doctor's speech that I had heard up until coming here. They were slightly different compared to the doctor's speech that I had heard up until coming here. In that- wait, why- <laughs> did I just say that twice? Okay. In that business-like speech from the doctor, it was said that this was a place to await the advancement of medicine. It was also called a place for healing the heart. Most like- literally! Most likely, broadly speaking, that was probably correct. Literally- okay. Heck canon. is there literally a place for protagonists in visual novels where they just- like, everyone just has a heart problem and everyone just comes to the Narcissu 7th hospital bedroom corridor because everyone just has a heart problem. That's why it says healing the heart. However, from what the girl said, that was a facade. The seventh floor was within the hospital, but was the only place that didn't give treatments. Oh, I scratched that. Simply, a place to wait for the end of life. Oh, that sucks. That's what the girl said. That's what I also felt. I had the same perception. Oh, man. Second, second time? What's that? And the girl taught me. This place called the seventh floor to be here from the moment of admission all the way until dying, first of all, apparently didn't happen. Even if being cured was impossible, if your health becomes better, then they would allow you to come to go home once. But after a while and your condition worsens and once again you come back. Among those comings and goings, eventually you die. The place where life ran out, it only varied between home and the seventh floor. Unfailingly, one would die in either of those, it seemed no one has ever escaped that. Well, I mean, you, okay, okay, if we're talking about a general sense, you can't literally just escape death, though, so. It was the meaning that the girl had said it, with her, it was her second time. I've been listening! Please tell me! So looking at the dull screen, the girl continued speaking even more. The subject wasn't about what time the lights would be out, the normal sort of topics exchanged between admitted patients. 
You taught me all about totally different things. Uh, on the th Is that her or is this me? Okay, it's probably- I'm gonna assume that's probably her. On the third time you're giving a temporary discharge, prepare yourself. There's never a fourth. You won't be going home anymore. If there's a time you want to run away, not go not to Station A, but towards Station B. Don't eat anything. That is the shortest path. It will end with the least burden to your family. It was all full of these sort of topics that would make one pause. Most likely, it was only the people who came to this place. Only among those who were moving towards death. These were the things that they continued passing down. Was the duty! You mentioned this. <laughs> what if I, I- I already forgot. Sorry, you're gonna have to write this down for me. With those final words, the girl slowly stood up. Gently, her long hair swayed and brushed the tip of my nose. Wow, rude much. Okay. And then, just like that, and with her back facing me, she began walking towards the hall. I was left alone in the place with the laughing voice from the screen and the white flowers decorating the window. In the end, the girl never once looked in my direction. Alright. That's cool, I guess. And then, after a few days had passed... Or half passed? Has passed. No. Finally, the New Year's program ended. Soon the middle and high school third terms would be starting. Today in the lounge, once again, the figures of the girl and I were staring at the television. Oh, oops! I did not mean to do that. Oh, I didn't know you can go back. Alright, noted. Uh, okay, so we're watching TV. <sighs> is that me or is that her? Because I feel- okay. It's boring, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. The word- the word came back in reply, but both of us were convers- uh, uh, both of us were conversing while continuing to gaze at the screen. What are we even watching? Come on. Hey, is this place always like this? <laughs> Uh, I meant how there's no one around! <laughs> Nurses, doctors, the helpers, if you take them out, then I'll from- Oh no, then I side from our attendants. I had never seen anyone else. I, I guess- I guess it's because it's New Year's? Ah, uh, no, it's not like I meant that. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> An exchange that wasn't even a conversation. We indifferently passed back and forth. A slight breeze from the windows that couldn't open more than 15 centimeters. Occasionally, it would sway the girl's hair, and the same way would sway the white flowers decorating around the rooms. Wind- fuck. Wombs. Windows! The two of us while watching the boring television were only spending days passing time. Pitter patter! Oh, the two- Uh, okay, so that's not the either of them, right? So it's some other person? Oh, the two of you were in a place like this? Saying that while rushing up was an elderly nurse. From just glancing at the nurse's station once in a while, this person seemed to be the chief of the seventh floor. So, Satsumi-san, don't you don't have a fever? Oh, well, Satsumi, right? Satsumi. Apparently, this was the girl's name. You can't go roaming around outside anymore, okay? <laughs> Satsumi's like, okay, you don't need to tell me twice. All right, everyone gets worried. <laughs> She's literally just like, dude, shut the fuck up. I know. Uh, my, what kind of statement is that? I mean, the appropriate one, I would say. Really? Girls these days, there's just no helping them. Oh my god, okay. And for a while more, the nurse continued muttering on, or nattering on. To that, she, the girl called said to me, let her go with an indifferent expression. As if ignoring the slightest noisy, slightly noisy nurse, she continued watching the boring screen in front of her. Okay, done. I'll, later I'll come to test your blood, okay? With those final words, once again, the nurse returned back to the nurse's station. Well, alright. Jotto. <laughs> ne, well, no, no, what was it? Ne, anata. I mean. Oh, no, no, lol, 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 it's me, not even her. Hey, you. I mean, I can call you Setsumi, right? Wrapped around the girl's wrist was a white vinyl bracelet. While looking at the blood type and name there, I asked. <sighs> no. <laughs> Is something wrong? Said to me, he, 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 come on, bro. He, she didn't even say, like, yes. <laughs> Why is there no honor? <laughs> Why is there no honor perfect? What? <laughs> Aww. 
hey, why am I the younger one? Well, I mean, we're talking about seniority in the seventh floor. She's definitely been here longer than you have. It wasn't that I was upset by the word younger. It was just, no matter how you looked at it, one would believe I was five, six years older. That was why I took out the license that was in my chest pocket and showed it to her. My god, no one <laughs> dug into his license or whatever and just left there? Okay, how about it? Even though I look like this, I'm 20, you know? Oh, the ripe old age of 20. <laughs> With just a glance at the license, the girl gave only that reply. Hey, I don't really don't really get it. How old are you, though? As always, she spoke softly and with no expression. Those eyes, while always looking at the dull television, also felt like they were looking at some place far away. Ah, looking for our youth back, huh? Around when the morning temperature taking ended, I got into the elevator, trying not to be seen by the nurses. Coming to the first floor, deliberately pausing through- pausing, passing through the entrance for out outpatients, I just kept walking out of the hospital. The destination was the place I had taught before, not the nearby station A, but the far station B. It wasn't like I was planning on running away. The seventh floor, or home, there was no one who died outside of those two. That was what I heard before. Also it's- uh, also- what? Also, it also? Okay, also it also seemed that the girl called Setsumi had gone many times to Station B. That was why, for no real reason, I simply felt like wanting to go see that place once. It's not like there are any guards around! Even so, us residents of the 7th floor were different from other admitted patients. While also thinking about the just maybe, I continued walking on the street to the early morning station area. Glancing at the hurrying commuters and people going to school, I slowly moved on at a measured pace. Pace? Pace? Four. After walking a bit, ta taking about 25 minutes, I finally arrived before the station. In terms of bus stops, it was about four... Four's distant? Alright. <sighs> There's a fair bit of people around. That was the first impression upon seeing Station B. Because of my clothes are pajamas, I stood out somewhat. However, it just like that. If just like that, I bought a train ticket. Without a single problem, I felt I could go anywhere. Well, you literally can go anywhere, man! Why was it not at Station A, but the Station B that was recommended? I didn't know. However, if one were planning to run away, I thought it was a simple thing. The girl was also supposed to have come many times, but why was it that she remained on the seventh floor even now, I wonder? Early morning before the station. While watching the people hurried by, hurrying by, suddenly the thought occurred to me. What? That night, after the lights had, had been turned off, holding onto a book of manga, unable to sleep, I wandered around the ward alone. Normally, wandering around after lights out would, uh, would get one scolded badly, but us residents of the seventh floor were given a relative amount of freedom. Well, that's nice, right? Hopefully you don't find anyone in the midst of darkness here. And with the lights off, the usual lounge was pitch dark. There, I saw her figure. Hey, today, you're looking outside. <laughs> In the dark room, there was a response, but that face remained looking beyond the window. Immediately, I started talking about what happened during the day. That reminds me, this morning I went all the way to the station. Just like you told me, I, s I went to see Station B. Uh huh, but the girl's response was no different from the usual. Because she was supposed to have gone before, I had thought that there might have been some kind of reaction, but thinking about that as well as how the girl still remained here, did it mean that she really had no intention of running away? Let's go, Sasumi! Okay, awesome! Hey. Huh? Suddenly, the girl opened her mouth. Words as if she had seen cleared through my, to my heart just now. Okay. Oh no, Sasumi. Mm, nah, that's right. Most likely, when she said that she would be able to go home, she was talking about temporary discharge. In this place called the seventh floor, to be admitted more than three times, it apparently never happened. Ah, oh, I mean, rumors be rumors, right? Especially, unlike the elderly, when considering the rate of progression of the disease, it was even more so for the younger patients like us. With that kind of meaning came the word, we won't meet again. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> of what? Choose what? Yeah, exactly, choose what. Uh, which one you plan on dying at? Hmm. Suddenly hearing the word death, my words caught for just a moment. No, no. I still haven't thought about it. So. 
The girl spoke in a lonely murmur. Of course, even I knew I couldn't be here forever. Like everyone else, going in and out of the hospital slowly weakenings until someday. In the end, either this set floor or surrounded by thin smiles, it would probably come to a choice between those two. <laughs> no, why is that, Setsumi? Where do you want to die? Setsumi? <laughs> Should we want it, Ray? What, what, Ray? Should we run away and die in a field of flowers or something? Then what will you do? Somewhere, you. Even though it was obvious that if one wanted to run away, one could. The skull store remained on the seventh floor. When I thought about that, do you have some other place to go to? <laughs> No. <laughs> so to me, technically I just met you like a couple days ago, or like a day, or has it been two days? I don't know, we just recently met, so I probably not. Ah uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, what? Why not? Aren't we? I guess we're not really friends, we're kind of just like, oh, we're caught hospital acquaintances. While gazing out the window, the girl spoke indifferently. As always, it had been a conversation when, where she did not even look in my direction. However, just that time, her usual expressionless profile seemed sad. I did it now. I thought that the third temporary discharge would be the last. I've come to the seventh floor for the first time. And then, a girl who would soon face her second time. For me, I still couldn't really feel the things that were happening as a reality, but... Seem <laughs> Someday, would I also come to make such a face? I don't know. I mean, you guys have both different diseases, right? It's not like you both have heart disease. Or was it heart disease? I don't remember. From before dawn, f rain fell. Huh. What an interesting line. From before dawn, rain fell. Occasionally, also changing to either sleet or snow, it lightly continued coming down. Uh, right? That's fine. Within that, I was in the usual place watching the television. As always, the seventh floor was devoid of people. It's literally just you and her on the seventh floor, huh? Nope. Boring. The girl came from the other side. Exchanging only those words, she quietly sat in the folding chair next to me. And then, today also, the two of us began gazing at the television. Surely the girl was also the same. There was nothing else to do. Nothing else she could do. Huh? Surprisingly, she responded to something on the television. Something the matter? Oh my god, what is it? The words were the same, not particularly, but at, it was the response that was different from the, usu from the usual uh, from usual from her. Uh, becoming interested, I turned my eyes to the screen. What was on the screen that was some kind of nature scene? On a beautiful hill, trees and flowers merged into a landscape. Oh, that's nice! And focused on the screen were a great white, many white flowers. Oh, aren't like Narcissu? No, 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 those are... Uh, oh god, what are they called again? Dan- not dandelions. Uh, what are they- not lilies, they- uh, I'm sure- I'm sure the game will tell me. There were flowers I remembered seeing before. They resembled the white flowers, even now decorating the room by the window. Are those the same- are those the same flower? Look, aren't they exactly like these? I forget what they're called! Oh gosh! While speaking, I pointed first at the screen and then toward the window. No? Oh really? No, no, tell me, tell me, I need to know. Giving the flowers by the window, just a glance. She once returned to, uh, gazing the television while answering. Honestly, even if she denied that they were the same to me, I didn't know the difference between the two. Besides for me, whether the flowers were the same or different, it didn't really matter. Instead of that, the girl normally would never participate in conversation. That girl surprisingly continued speaking. That was why I also tried to maintain the conversation. Ah, uh, what? Are no, you didn't even tell me what the flowers are called! Okay! Are you maybe knowledgeable about this sort of thing? Okay, really? But I can't tell the difference at all. <laughs> he's, he's going with the dumb approach. Alright, y'all. The white flowers blooming beyond the screen, the flowers in the vase beyond the girl's profile. While vaguely looking at both of them, I continued further with my words. Oh, so, these are orchids or lilies? Bro, they aren't orchids! They're lilies! Duh! Okay, yeah, no, orchids are the flower that, like, uh, what's it? <laughs> In Heavy Rain, you find at every, like, crime scene? Those are orchids, right? Look, they've got a whitish color, right? 
But like those are a specific type of lilies. There are like two different kinds of lilies. The ones that don't have the, or are they lilies? No, but he said, ugh. but lilies are just like white. But then those have like the little yellow on it, and they're called they're called something else. Even though I had no interest, I just kept saying things that came to mind. However, a girl soon became the like usual and fell silent. With her usual expression, she only gazed at the boring screen. And when I had given up on the possibility that she would take up the conversation and once again begin to move my eyes back to the television. <gasps> All right, not okay. I was gonna make this comment like when I did a new part, but because she because she said Sumi's mentioning it up again, she says it like narcissist, but like in, like in my American brain, I keep I read it as like narcissist. Well, I guess it is narcissist, but like the game is called like Narcissu, but then like right, it would be like without the S here, narcissist, or is it actually like narcissist? Is it actually pronounced narcissist, or I keep or is it narcissist? I call it Narcissus, but I guess with the C and the K sound. Eh. Narcissus. 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 <gasps> Satsumi, your eyes are so brown. While answering, for the first time she faced me. Wearing her long waist length hair while pointing at the flowers shown on television, she looked at me. Just like the flowers displayed on the screen, there was a white vinyl bracelet wrapped around a wrist with white skin. The first time that I saw the face, I thought I saw the briefest of smiles. Oh. Oh, that's it! Okay, alright. 